Well, a quick look at 2.9 and uh, one of the new features included is uh, DLSS. And you do have to be running the multi-threaded uh, executable to use the DLS and we'll take a look at how to turn that on. But uh, one of the effects that it now has is uh, the uh, rudder wash on the grass, which looks pretty cool. And we'll have more of a look at that here in a moment. Let's just go ahead and uh, pick it up. And we can, you can see it now, you can see more of the effect. Not quite on level ground, so a little squirrely here for me. Not that it would have been less squirrely if it had been level, but uh, all right, let's have uh, get back down and have an external look. Looks pretty cool. Whoa! So now let's just have a look at uh, where to uh, turn it. Whoa! All right. <laughs> Let's just get out of this, and we'll quit. We'll get back out of the uh, mission editor, and we'll look at those options. Okay, up here on our settings on our system, uh, we have upscaling, and uh, essentially what it does, it takes a lower res, and through uh, the the functions on the card. It uh, improves the uh, resolution without the typical cost of a higher resolution. And so you have some other options here. Uh, DLSS and DLAA I think are exclusive. So if we turn that off, then we can turn that on. And I haven't really played around with the other yet, but uh, you saw what that looks like. And to, uh, if you go here and you don't have this option, then you're probably not running the, uh, the multi-threaded executable. Where you'll find that in uh, your Eagle Dynamics uh, DCS World folder, you'll see bin, and within that is your normal executable. You don't want to run that one. You've also got a bin-mt uh, at the same level as your bin folder. In that, you'll find a DCS EXE. That's the one you're going to run. And uh, then you'll have the ability to turn DLSS on. If you have an NVIDIA-capable card, now I'm not sure if it'll work with others, but uh, it doesn't hurt to try it.